I guess, have a hard time communicating, which can explain why I'm very loud in my artwork. What do you want me to explain my ideas? People will steal them. trying to articulate my thoughts. So give me a second. I got the name Foo Babe. It was really nothing at all. I was in my truck working landscape. My dad's a landscaper. I work for my dad. Before I was even doing any kind of art stuff, it was a name of a playlist I had made. The first two words that came to my head was Foo Babe. I had recently after that made an Instagram because I had been painting prior to that. First thing I saw when I was making my Instagram account was my playlist I was listening to. Fube was a character, like an acronym, I guess. I was like a painter trying to figure out what it is, like being honest in my reflection, like if I'm looking in the mirror, what do I have to say? I'm not a writer or a poet. I'm trying to figure out how to mesh those things together, like in Mexico, expat, aesthetic, England, pub life, Bowen Island, Vancouver, construction, blue collar life, like bizarre different worlds that I've been involved with, I'm trying to mix those together. Because I'm not, I'm not someone who's in the position to be a political person or whatever. Like I'm, I'm just moving at my own pace. So I find my artwork, I'm just being honest. Those those things can build, like can work towards how I present myself and my style. Just do my own thing and kind of be honest. And like I have my taste and the things I like and I like how I like to present myself. It's kind of what goes towards my art, the way I live life. So there's a lot of music and culture that I like. So I kind of use those to kind of build a stylistic approach to maybe painting or whatnot. I guess my painting is very loud and that's kind of where I am as a painter. Music is important as far as when I paint. I'm very uh, expressive when I paint. Music can change the way I move around or I'm feeling, you know, music is very, they stand in what like close to each other, like all arts do. Living homeless in LA in a pandemic, I, wasn't necessarily homeless, I had a car, and it was pre-pandemic. I was broke. It was it was fun. Like, it was a journey, you know? Like, the van was a total um, shit box. Like, it broke down a lot. Made me a better mechanic. I had a lot of adventures in it. To put yourself out of your comfort zone, it makes you, it puts you on your toes, makes you problem solve, it makes you react to situations. That's really important in any kind of career. I knew I wanted to do something post-secondary, like high school or whatever. I wanted to figure out something. So I wanted to try something else than landscape I've done my whole life. So I tried fashion school at Blanche McDonald. I was in Blanche for about a week, two weeks. The whole time I was in that class, because I do love clothing, I love fashion. The two weeks I was in that class, I was very inspired, like clothing's very inspiring. I. Uh, was very inspired to paint the whole time. So I was in this box. I was like, I can't really be in this room when I want to paint. So I dropped out. But then I did my art stuff. I also rerouted to doing, trying to do clothing, merchandise, pop-ups, love doing it. But it takes so much sometimes that and it's like very expensive that found out I wasn't painting very much, or as much as I'd like to. And it kind of pulled me away once again. Uh, so where I find myself now is I'm focusing on just working, hustle, and painting. Everything's art, but better painter, but also trying to figure out uh, how to use my style, different uh, avenues. That's where I find myself right now. What do you want me to explain my ideas? People will steal them.